actually um i'm so exhausted and i'm so tired tired and exhausted because my son's school just called me and made me to know that um my son is running a temperature two of my kids are sick and oh my gosh it's crazy with kids you don't really know what is going on with them you know and so i'm driving to their school right now to go pick them up last night actually they did not sleep well and but this morning they all woke up good and so i thought they could go to school i mean i cannot say it's a coronavirus because they just had the vaccine last week i think they are having a side effect of the vaccine i think they are sick because the vaccine is kind of you know disturbing them right now which they're gonna be okay but you know it's a new something that they just initiated in their system so i think that's what is happening right now so yeah that's what moms go through so oh my gosh it's not easy you know so i'm currently driving to radon school and ryan school to go pick them up and at this point in time i'll just take them straight to the hospital because i'm not going to stay with them again i need to know what is going on with them because all three boys are sick like what happens is every time if one person is sick we are always we just want to treat all three boys at the same time because when one person is sick all three of them get sick that's how it goes because you know they are brothers and they always play together so i think that's what is happening so they easily transfer everything within themselves all right oh my gosh so right now i'm in the school and they are just back here and get them <laughs> Hey Ryan. Hey Raiden. I'll just sign them out. Ray? Yeah. What happened? Uh, you don't I feel think, too good? Yeah. I was coughing all day the, the whole night. You're coughing all day and the whole night? Yeah. Sorry, baby. Sorry, okay? So I'm going to take all of you guys to the hospital. Why? So they can get you guys checked up. Because you guys, you know, one person is sick and the other person is sick. And just like that, you know, it's not fair. So. Okay, I don't want shot. No, they're not going to give you any shot. No more shorts. No, they, they're going to give us an eye drip to me. If they give you an eye drop, then that would be good. I think you're having an allergy or something. <coughs> Ryan, how do you feel? Oh, uh, my eye is not burning. My eye is not burning. Okay. I just lose my car. All right, well. No, look, Are you guys hungry? No, yeah. Mommy, no more to play with every day. It's a tacos. So finally, we are already at the children's um hospital. Um, luckily enough, the hospital is close to our home, so we did not drive that much. You see, these boys, <laughs> they are just walking. They're not even walking like people who are sick. They're walking like, like. It looks like I'm lying, you know. Bringing them here makes me look like I'm lying. So the good part about this is um, when we went to the emergency room, it was pretty empty. We were like the only people there, you know. So when we got there immediately, they gave us a room for all three kids. So I decided to just go with all three kids, you know, because... 
all of them were showing um, symptoms of, you know, being sick. Because by the time you treat one person, the other person um, will get sick. And before you know it, all of them will get, all of them will get sick. So what we always try to do is when they are sick like this, we try to like prevent, we already try to like prevent um, the other people from getting sick, you know, because their bodies, they always play. So the good thing is when I brought them to the hospital, I came with their tablets and their books. So that helped me a lot because it kept them so busy. So guys, um, we came to the hospital already and the three kids are already in the same room. So they're just checking them out to make sure that um, there's no kind of like emergency, emergency going on with any of them. So, um, well, they've taken their vitals and the initial information. And right now we are waiting for the doctor to come see the kids. Um, those are the boys over there. <laughs> Just read them. They're reading their books, and luckily enough, um, I came with their tablets, so that way, um, it's gonna occupy them. And you can see Ryan is there, um, busy using his tablet in. Redon and Jerry are here with their tablets, and Redon is reading his book that he took from the library. So, yeah, guys, it is what it is. That's mom's life, you know. All right, so hopefully the doctor will be here as soon as possible. And hopefully it's nothing serious. And we're going to get out of here as soon as possible as well. Okay, guys, I'll keep you guys posted and updated on everything that is going on. <laughs> Joey, she's a strong boy. Yeah. I am so proud of you, Jojo. Good job, buddy. Wait, don't sit up. <laughs> these kids you know if you if you look at this video keenly you see the way these kids are active you would think i'm lying you know somebody would think they are not sick i just decided to bring them over look at how relaxed and busy these kids are they don't even look like people who are sick but guess what at night they are so congested and they can't even sleep well you know look at oh my gosh um so when they came here you know the doctors you know when it comes to kids you know children they don't really prescribe that much or do anything, you know. So sometimes bringing kids to the hospital, it's like you're just wasting so much time. But you know, us as parents will always be concerned when our kids are sick. So that's my fear when they are sick, like especially this, um, this pandemic period you know every you don't even know the difference between the coronavirus and the flu anymore so when they are sick like that you know you we start getting panic and we want to take them especially when it keeps going on it's pretty scary for us trust me it is Oof. so guys um finally the doctor has already seen the kids and thank god so they are all COVID negative. That was my biggest fear. Like I was like, God, please, I don't want these kids to be positive. But thank God, Woo, now I'm so relieved. So um, it's just a transition of the weather. You know, we are get we are already in the winter, so it's a really huge transition. So I believe the kids are, you know, just getting their body. You know, it's it's just it is how it is. They are kids, you know. 
Oh my gosh, so now I'm so relieved. So now I'm so relieved, sorry. So I'm just gonna take them home and keep them comfortable. That's it. So this is all what it is about being a mom. Yep, you can see them here. Yep, so I'm just gonna take them home. Mm -hmm. Guys, can we go home now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you all get your stuff. Let's go. Okay. Get your stuff. Let's go, please. Whew, guys. I am so exhausted. Like, at this point in time, I just want to go get a cold bath and then go to bed. So, finally, we are leaving the hospital and without any prescription medication so the doctor just encouraged that i give them a lot of fluids they are they are coronavirus negative no covid 19. whoa that was my biggest fear because i could not really tell at this point in time what was happening to these kids you know but i believe that from here you know I don't know what to do. So I got this. Mama always have this. So we're going home. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say thanks to all those who have been supporting our YouTube channel. And please, guys, protect yourselves. Stay safe. Put on your mask still maintain your um your six feet you know please coronavirus is real you know when i noticed that it's not what my kids had i was so thankful to god but please let's not stop protecting ourselves and one most important thing please do not forget to always wash your hands wash your hands that's the first thing you have to do to prevent coronavirus bye love you guys back to back